in a world where seven people will play a game like never before. Uh, something normal, just saying like, um, Finn, thank you for letting us know, or, or Finn, thank you for letting us know <laughs> what has happened. Uh, please wait for further information. I hope you're doing well. Signed, the seer. Okay, and you, you look at it, it goes like, and new information appears, and it says, Finn, it's the same voice, <laughs> we have learned that the crystal has been stolen. Retrieve it at all costs and bring it here. We have reports that the sunken city has been captured by the Rook. My friend, you were born for this moment. You are where you're supposed to be. Use your instincts. Find allies if you can. Find allies that you can trust also. And get out of the city with the rod. The Red Knight's wizard Onyx has a shadow already there looking for it. A shadow in this game is a assassin, a spy. They call them shadows. Okay. Vin's laughing because Vin knows from the pregame who <laughs> he knows the shadow in a different character. And different thing. The Red Knight's. So I'll take it back a second. The Red Knight's wizard Onyx has a shadow already there looking for the device. He is highly skilled and has infiltrated the thieves' guild already. Onyx has sent a message to him about you. He will find you and help you if possible. Be careful. And he goes. And appears back to be the Red. Take um, 25 wow. experience points. That is so cool. Is uh, <clears throat> Question. <clears throat> what, how, what, what is Rook? What's, what race? Is he human? Is he huge? Is right. he, you know, um, he is kind of big for a human. You, you have a feeling that he's actually either human and just large and or half orc. How oh. tall? He's probably about 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, he just, he just, ha he just has, you feel like he has that blood in him. He might be like half orc. He's very educated. Really? Yeah. Which doesn't fit with the half work part. <laughs> uh, I will now award uh, 10 experience to anyone who can name where they saw the rook before this moment. Oh, I know where we saw it. Yeah. We one of the pre stories. When? The, uh, the, 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 the pirate showed the pirate. Yes. Mm. Yeah, he, he, and he, yeah. tried to, he tried to hire <laughs> us, and when we said yes, he killed mm. us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Metal That's right. That Metaluzo trusted him. <laughs> Yeah, for my guy. This is your guy. You guys survived. Betrayed him. Right? And you're right. You guys yes. survived. He was in the town. <laughs> or he, he beat was the sharks the and everything. He was, he was there. Uh, I believe that was Headley. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. We saw him. We saw him at oh. Smithies. Yeah, the, uh, he was at Smithies. That's right. Yep. Okay. Very good. Take that experience. Oh, amazing. Oh, nice. okay. Um. Also, just at, just at a game moment. I don't know if this makes the thing, but uh, if you remember, the bard um, that was in the tavern was also part of the pre-story. The loot. Uh, the loot. The, the lovely the loot. loot. The yeah. Yeah. name. Oh, yeah. Who was he? I remember right. that. Uh, I don't remember that. Damn it. I remember that. But he was the lovely loot. Wasn't, wasn't he? Wasn't he with uh, Lord James oh, and Trump? Oh, Some of you may not play that. You might not play that one. I got it. He I, I, don't only, think, I don't think you were here. It was one, two, three, four. No Tom, no Vin. The lovely loot is uh, <laughs> Shadow Master. Right. Uh, oh. the, with the assassins, yeah, uh, the shadows and all oh. that stuff. He, he is a master assassin there to kill yeah, everybody. He's I remember the, he's the right. master assassin. When I went on the boat trip. Oh, that's oh. right. Is he the shadow? He's a shadow for, the, for Queensland. And that's my other guy. He, he went in early and got into the Jordan. tavern and was looking for the device and was just playing, looking for it, waiting for wow. it. Wow. And you guys, you walked into the hallway onto the second level and then you, pl you, you casted the thing and then you walked right back downstairs. You never went onto the floor. You would have opened up the whole huge thing. You never did. 
Like, oh, to, like to die. Like to die? Yes. Like, yes. Oh. Well, you may not have died or you may have died, but you it would have been a big battle. I mean, there was more opportunity and to die And obviously, we're so else. good at battling. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's a shame we missed out. <laughs> Your first battle likes our muscles. Your first battle wasn't bad, but also, you just, this kid took uh, in both battles a 20 and both times max damage. Yeah. You know, you know, what, you know what really killed this? You know what really killed this? The bullet? <laughs> The bullet that shot me from my partner. <laughs> you know, I also killed two of the guys in the well, last battle. Nobody mentions I, that. Wait, well, it could have been the screen. He may be right. well, the That's worst guy. True. He also gets MVP, though. Because true. He, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty well, sure maybe, he killed three guys. Maybe if I was alive, <laughs> I could have helped. Mo most <laughs> violent, I killed two most guys and almost a half Oh, yeah, yes, you're, you're doing what, what, I, what I loved about you shooting him was not that you shot him, that was great, but you immediately seemed as shifty as possible. Like, ah, I mean, he jumped yeah. out of the woods. Yes, I don't know what it Before was. He was just, he, he, in the was story, he was just stirring in the woods, and he looked, and he goes, he jumped right out of me. <laughs> I don't know, he looked like a deer. What? Or a, like monkey. a monkey. He was <laughs> wearing deer yeah, antlers. <laughs> Yeah. I had to shoot him. And then I think later on, like, he charged. He was like even more like, oh. He was very aggressive. Right. <laughs> he, he was making deer sounds. <laughs> Angry deer sounds. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, but he wow. was frustrated, so it's. <laughs> so he was a zombie deer, so he shot. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Cast some sort of spell on me or something. <laughs> you, you figure out. Um, what you just figured out with the, uh, the note, and that's what happens. Now, um, at about two weeks in, you notice that they relax the restrictions. And for the first time ever, everyone is allowed to leave their shift at the end of their eight or ten hour shift <laughs> <laughs> and walk around the town, the city, wherever they like to go. Certain things are off, are off limits, of course. You cannot leave the city. And you see at all times, they put a lot of the guards on top of the buildings with, with uh, bows and arrows. And there are all still a lot of guards on the bottom. But they've eased back. And you see they pull back everything. They kind of kind of like they've waited until everyone was in line and doing their thing and used to it. And then they start lessening a little bit. So now the curfew is you must be in at night. Can't leave the city, obviously. Uh, you can't step a foot on, on the, the docks. You can't be near the walls. You can do your job. You can, you can do whatever. And, um, you know things like that. There's, still, there's no uh, money exchange. You're not dealing with money. Um, and basically, you just go somewhere from, from one of the taverns and you collect, you, you get your, like, a voucher, like, you give something to them. And then, um, they, uh, what do you call them? Feed us. They feed you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when you DM, sometimes your brain is caught up with a couple of different things there. Uh, yeah. Do they, I have my, apart my old apartment or no? Uh, you don't. Someone else is living in it. Where, where, where are we living so you're all living in different spots. Uh, some of you are at a couple different houses in the middle of the city. Um, two of you are in uh, one of the warehouses with a lot of other people. Uh, they have you in the middle of the city. Uh, you're probably one of the nicer things. Um, and they let you, since you're working in your, in, your, in your workshop where your home is, they just say, like, sleep upstairs. And every, all the workers sleep there with you. You have the most, re most uh, relatable experience <laughs> to your other life, your normal life. So... You're so on, we you're don't, on, with your own stuff. We don't That's stay in the tavern, the cooks. Don't stay in the rooms. Um, would they put you in the tavern? Um, yeah, you know what? I'd say that. They probably would. Okay. Put you back in the old room. They probably put all the workers just staying upstairs. So, yeah, okay, I would say sweet. that you're there. Yes. You're happy because you get you have your stuff back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but your weapon's not there, by the way. Did I have... <laughs> the, here's a short sword, slave. <laughs> <laughs> not happening. How many extra weapons that I previously built are in the workshop? <laughs> Anything that is a weapon has been taken out. You're not in there like the Punisher. It's <laughs> 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 the button on the wall. Yes. Like, yes. Do I? Do I yeah, ever? That would have been find it. Are you gonna ask me? I'm, I'm just taking a guess. If you ask me. I'm, I could be wrong. But are you gonna ask me if you ever hid any weapons anywhere and can he re be revealed now? That's, that's no. I was not not no, necessarily. No. Now that you say it. I think. I think. Can I guess? I. I can I Iron Man up, like, <laughs> as I'm building their devices, can I secretly uh, also be yeah. building a weapon for me? Yes. That was my guess. Yes, that's my experience. Tom is just raking experience. Can I Iron Man up? <laughs> so I, I will, um, I'm thinking it. I will tell you simply this. The terminology that is fantastic, you by the can way. think of a way to Iron Man yourself, where you're starting to build some kind of suit and pretend that you're building the Nomish tank, it's possible you're building a large contraption. It's up to you to tell me how, what we're going to do. 
push oh, it to man. have shrapnel around your heart. I, I know exactly what I would so, do in this situation. <laughs> tell me what you do. Are you, are you literally building uh, uh, <laughs> well, I well, you don't have the, <laughs> you have the ability to build a suit? No. When I say Iron Man up, I just mean building something beneficial to myself while also working. Do you want to build another ouch pack? Um, yeah, ouch pack and guns was what I was <laughs> okay. thinking of. So secretly okay. building just like one part of that as I'm just doing stuff. Okay, here's a part for this, and then I hide it somewhere. So I'll say this. Uh, what you're going to do is every time that we come down to it, you're going to make a charisma roll, but it's going to be so very low, very easy to make because you're building things that could go on the the uh, gnomish tank. Although I do have also the ability to build an iron suit. You do. I have. I have. Oh, by the way, I. Uh, I, I mean, way. I could if I wanted. Now okay, that I look okay, at. Okay. Okay. I've been known to I tinker. Am uh, so, I am iron. I am iron. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I could build. I have schematics, so that lets me build. You have schematics or schematics? Iron Man and I are never schematics. in the same room. Schematics. Oh, okay. Schematics. 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 I know how to read a schematic. Schematics. <laughs> Okay, so what do you want to do? <laughs> Tell me what your goal is. What are you trying to build? What's your first thing you're trying to build? Holy heck. Uh, <laughs> first thing I'm going to try and build is an outback. Okay. Go big or go home, Rob. And <laughs> good for you. Machine. How soon did you, do you, do you, you try and start building it? Um, I would say after I get a couple of the gnomish tanks built, then I feel like they look at me as a good worker and starting to trust me a little. Okay, so roll 1d4. That's how many days we're working on it in pieces, of course. 1d4 would be the only die that you don't have. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> two. Two. Okay. And uh, so that's two days you've been working on it, and you're starting to build it, put it together, and it looks like it. Make one uh, 1d20 roll. And add your charisma. Oh, no. Oh no. Hey, three. Oh no. Oh boy. So you come in and the guy's like, how's it going? And you're like, it's totally fine. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm building exactly what you said and not anything else. You say something stupid like that to him. <laughs> so I'll let you, I'll let you, I'll let you, you can role play that and then you can go from there. Yeah, okay, so, so what's going on here? How's it going? Wonderful. Are you building everything according to specs? Yes, the third tank is nearly complete. He <laughs> 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 doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And are you building? <laughs> you're building everything that we said. Yes, I'm building everything that you said. Everything you said is built, and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Make believe you shot me again. <laughs> That's how convincing he, he you are. He starts look, looking around it, and we'll see how, uh, <laughs> how he notices. You see him go over it, and he sees a bit of the ouch pack. And what is this? Oh, yes, I see you. Notice the modification I'm working on. <laughs> to make what does it do? It adds another weapon to the tank. What weapon? Flamethrower. A flamethrower. <laughs> that could be very helpful to the Queen's Empire. <laughs> <laughs> carry on, carry on. Okay. Ah, good dog. He <laughs> hit the dog. <laughs> dog survived. <laughs> okay, so um, that's what that's what's happening over there. <laughs> Okay, nice so job. basically you guys reach uh, 16 days and, uh, oh, sorry, 14 days. Well, we'll say at 16, the 16th day, they start, you guys are able to start getting out of your, um, your element a little bit more. If the freedom cause starts relaxing, and then they're totally on, like, okay, you're free. Make sure you're not out at night, nightfall. Um, you know that if, you, they, if they do catch you at nightfall, they're going to lock you out. Okay? You guys uh, all go out, and everybody close your eyes. I want you to put up the following numbers on your, your fingers if you're going to certain places, okay? One, if you're going to go to Smithy's Tavern. Two, if you're going to go to the mines. This is obviously after your shift. Uh, three, if you're going to go to the, to the, the warehouses. Uh, four, if you're investigating the walls. Five, if you're going to the vault. Six, if you're going to the Gnomish Workshop. Put up your fingers now and wait for everybody to, to finish. I have two players who have not decided, just waiting. Are there somebody else, someplace else I would like and to go to? a person who needs to decide. Okay, everyone, leave your fingers up. Open your eyes. And where are you going? So one, two, three, <laughs> wow. four. You go to the tavern. Uh, you chose the Gnomish Workshop. And you chose... Uh, um, the, the, what's it called? The walls. The walls. Okay, everybody, you can put <laughs> your finger down. 
Okay, so one, two, three, four, you go into the tavern. <laughs> you, you guys walk in, and you're sitting down, you just finished working, and someone else takes over for, for the night, like it's like a normal tavern. Is it like that? There are leaves everywhere. They're still there. <laughs> and you can roleplay the four of you. First time you hey. see each other. Oh, my God. How are you guys? Uh, all right. It's good to see you. It is so you good too. to see you. Can I get you something to eat? Yes. Please. Coming right up. <laughs> are we? You're killing this yes. job. You're killing it. <laughs> so she gets you a little extra food, and which is it kind of slips into Are you guys doing well? Can't complain too much. I mean, you know, we are still prisoners here, basically, but... Mm-hmm. I'm back in the workshop, so other mm. than being prisoner, pretty much the same. Yeah, I'm back doing my old job. <laughs> Hugo, where are you? In the forest. You're in the forest. Okay. I've been thinking about a plan for a while now, and if I ever met up with you, this is what I wanted to ask you. You're a ranger, and you're able to find, you know, about plants and such that can heal or hurt? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I make the food for everyone here. I would love it if you could forage some possible poisonous things that I can put into the higher-ups' food. Yes. And so if we can make plans to meet here again, Uh this could be something that we could do so (laughs) we can get get the magical crystal somehow or make them sleep something and get the hell out of the city. What do you think? Yes! Okay. Possible. Uh, Very energetic. (laughs) Okay. I'd like to get my gear back, too. Uh, Well, yes. I'm I'm chained to everyone else when I'm in the forest. They haven't loosened less. They haven't loosened up on you yet. Not that much. Okay. I well, can, I can look, but not 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 as far as I'd like to go. So just take notice now, and we can wait it out. We'll meet here as often as we can together. Okay. And it's getting busy. So people walk in, that's the shit. Don't tell anyone. I will not. Hmm. I've also secretly started building some weapons in my workshop. Hmm. That's good. That sounds great. If there's a time, what a distraction or something. What else did I have you doing? Actually, have you built some sort of tanks? Tanks? Yes. Little armored vehicles. And to evidently use the gnomes to <laughs> fight for them. The fire weapon, fire weaponry. They're built for gnomes? Yes, yeah, small tanks. Hmm. Can dwarves fit in there? Okay, guys, so while you guys are in the tavern, we're going to go over to Vinny. Uh, Vinny, what do you want to do on basically your first night out in the Sunken City? Uh, I'm going to go explore the town to see if I can connect with any of my guild members. Or what? Were guild members that I might know. <laughs> okay, so you're looking for people that were there before the town was taken over. Correct. Um, are you exploring anywhere in particular, or are you just looking around? Uh, well, I feel that the Thieves Guild is a good spot to start at. Okay. Okay, so uh, give me a roll, 1d20. Where are we? Ooh. No. Nope. Okay, so... Definitely a Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you go over here. You're looking over here on the map. Uh, this is where the Thieves' Guild is, uh, as you remember. It's basically on the southeastern part of the map. And there's also uh, the barracks, um, the barracks area where they keep, they keep prisoners and you know some of the guards are working out of. And uh, from pre-game, pre-game stuff, you know that they were using that basically as a kind of like a front, too, because Ola the Mayor and Bludgy, the, uh, the Thief Guild Master, were basically working hand in hand. Yeah. Um, so you go over to that area looking for anybody that you remember. You don't see anybody. But what you do see, which is interesting, is that the guards have something going on there. And they're actually in a large circle and they're making bets and they're um, watching two guys fight. They're <laughs> doing something like a little... like a little uh, Fight club. Like a little fight club. Ooh. And uh, they're fighting in there. They're throwing down money. And you even see that there's uh, some... Um, slaves of the city, you know, uh, in there also that sometimes they go up there and they fight and things like that. 
And it looks like it's probably not a very official thing. It's probably happening just now since they opened up the uh, after hours <laughs> <laughs> until uh, <laughs> until night. Um, it's uh, happy hour um, activities. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, yeah, they're they're fighting. Um, but you check out through the whole the entire city, looking around. But th- when you check that area, that's what you see. Everywhere else, you're not running into anybody that is. Yeah, I'll, I'll check down by like the docks too and see if anything, if I as close as I can get. Okay, you can roll for the docks. You go, you go uh, check there. No, I, that's a six. <laughs> okay, so you, I mean, you're checking by the docks. You even check where you used to live and things like that, and you're just not finding anybody that you remember from uh, the good old days. Great. So that's pretty much Great. that. And you, you basically spend that time up until when you, um, you. Uh, yeah, pretty much until like dark. Yes, yeah, so you have to get back. Yep. Okay, so you you do that. Um, Tom, mm-hmm. you ha- are heading over to Archie Finn's workshop. Yeah. You get there. You arrive. You find that he's not there, but you do find his assistant. You walk inside. Yeah. Uh, Hello. If, hello. Uh, I was looking for uh, for Arky Fint. Is he still here? Oh, uh, he's at the uh, the tavern uh, down the block, Smithy's Tavern. That's usually where he goes. <laughs> uh, at least he did before the uh, occupation, and now he still goes there. All right. Well, I guess that's good. That's the only tavern I know in town, so I could. Find it. Uh, how are you doing? Everything okay here? Yeah, well, just yeah, they have us doing all these weird contraptions and stuff. But actually, we're just getting ready to just start relaxing myself. Oh well, uh, I don't want to in- interrupt. Inter- inter- what, what kind of contraptions? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm very curious. So he looks around outside the window and such, and he goes, "Well, basically, they have us building like uh, these armored carts with like cannons installed in them, and they're calling them like." cannon rollers or something, but the boss is calling him a gnomish tank, which I kind of like better, but um, yeah, and it, it's, it's, it seems very dangerous. Yeah, it doesn't sound like I want to be on either side of that, inside or outside. <laughs> no, we've been wondering about that, how safe the uh, <laughs> it actually is inside. Yeah, well, uh, ho- hopefully neither of us will have to get in there. Uh, yes. Mm. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> uh, you will never catch me in one of these things. <laughs> me either. Uh, all right. Uh, well, thanks. I, 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 please rest. I'm, I'm glad to see that uh, that you're okay. I think I remember you from when I came to the town a few weeks ago. Uh, oh yes, you came in uh, with that uh, tall guy. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can find him too. I guess. All right. Uh, have a have a good night. Good luck. Thank you. And I, uh, I head over to Smithy's Tavern. Okay. You head over to Smithy's Tavern, and you walk inside, and to your delight, you find four of your friends. They're ready. Smithy's Tavern is basically the same, except for a large hole in the roof, which is still left unfinished. And there are leaves everywhere around the whole thing. It's uh, literally like a little jungle in there. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Mm, tavern. <laughs> That's uh, interesting decor decisions they've made in the interim. Okay, and you walk up and you see everyone's talking and they immediately see you and you guys reunite. Hey. Hey. Ben. Ben. Hey. Nice. Everyone, everyone. It's Ogar. good to see you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's surprisingly good to see you too. I'm, I'm glad everyone's uh, oh, seemingly okay. Is, there, is everyone okay? Is everyone being treated all right? Not bad. Not too shabby. How do yes. How are they? Uh, they, they okay, they're treating you okay out in the. You're in the woods, right? You're, you're doing like uh, lumber stuff. Yes, I'm in the forest, chopping down trees. Yeah. For wood. That doesn't seem like something that uh, you'd like to do. You all right? <laughs> all right. Better than expected. Oh, good. All right. Uh, okay, okay. I went by your your place. It seems like you're doing some some, some interesting stuff. Yes, they apparently have us building these new type of weaponry for their war plans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of your uh, your assistants there was. was yeah, it sounds crazy. I don't know. I don't want any part of that. You know, I, I mean, I can't imagine being inside a giant armored shell and firing a cannon. No, uh, the volume alone. They're quite wonderful, really. I think. No, I would love to get the chance to. <laughs> Be in one of them one day and actually use it. <laughs> <laughs> Foreshadowing is getting Maybe. thicker and bigger. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about how about how about you guys? What uh, we're, we're, you're you're in the you're in the mines. You're in the mines. Yep. Yep. And I'm here cooking. You're here. I'm here. Uh, at Which least is I, very nice. <laughs> yeah. You're responsible for the the 
w- wilderness decor that's... Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know exactly how that happened, but... <laughs> okay. Uh, strange. Let's put a leaf over here. You know what? You know what? <laughs> All leaves. <laughs> yeah. Leaves. All leaves. Just All leave it like everywhere. Tree and leaves. Oh. Oh. Ouch. <clears throat> uh-huh. That's uh-huh. terrible. Uh-huh. That happened. You're, 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 you're the heavier than mines again. Mm, yes. Supervising, though, at least. <laughs> I was yes. going to say, yeah, you're, don't, don't look, you don't look too, uh, you know, Coalish. Yeah. <laughs> Coalish. <laughs> Funny. You look cool. Jewish. <laughs> oh. um, <clears throat> good. All right. Um, I look around to, uh, to see, like, if anyone's listening or I see any guardsmen or things of that uh, nature. There are guards in the, the bar, in the, the tavern, but, um. They're doing their own thing. All right. All right. Uh, just break it down a little bit. All right. I am going to talk very softly to Hogar. I need you to, like, nod or shake if I can ask you to get your nose. You can't <laughs> say anything because you're, even your whisper is very loud. Remember. Right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Internal monologue. <laughs> <laughs> so when I, when I first arrived in the town a few weeks ago, remember, I came to get the device, the rod, and there was a problem. The crystal that powers the rod was missing. So I wrote a letter then to my elven tower, wizard's tower, mm. to let them know that something was wrong and that I needed to wait for further instructions. I received the letter back. Mm. And I was able to I, I was able to read that letter. It was enchanted. And I had a message on it stating one, that we have to get the rod. And we have to get out of the town with the rod. Uh. Right? Two, that that we have an ally in the town, uh, the Great Nine isn't a uh, shadow here to try and also recover the rod and bring him uh, back to, to the Red Knight city, uh, and that he's infiltrating the thieves guild apparently. Mm. So I can't imagine it's the kid, but he's the only thief I know. Uh, where is he, by the way? Is he alright? Is he? I haven't seen him. Uh, I saw him earlier, but. Uh I don't know where he is tonight. He's been working in the mines also. I've been trying to keep an eye on him. Okay. All right. I've been able to... Um, been able to the, the rod is is, uh, is with the rook. He carries it with him everywhere. And he does not live or spend any of his nights here in the city. He's on one of like uh, those giant ships out in the, in the harbor. One of these like, dreadnoughts or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so... That's where he stays, and the rod stays with him. So I don't know how we're gonna get it out, but like there's gotta be something. Like I said, like, you know, I mean, a ship that big has gotta get supplies. Like it's gotta have enough people that they need new food, things like that. Nature's got a way to get out there, and he does come into town. So I don't know, we have to figure out some way to get that out. Um, yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. I've been I've been working with the townspeople. I've been trying to uh, with 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 the, the queen's people. I've been trying to. Uh, you know, makes them think that I'm, you know, with them. So I've been helping them organize the town, and, and, and uh, I've been trying to make the conditions better for the people that were here. You know, uh, they had them all penned up in, in some of those warehouses. I at least tried to make it so that they weren't death traps. Uh, but you know, it, it's, you know, it's allowed me to at least get some information about things. Um, I don't know. Finn, do you know where they're keeping the weapons? Our weapons? Yeah, yeah uh, you're not gonna like that either. So I've been uh, thinking about that myself. Yeah, uh, I mean, I haven't, I haven't asked for my own stuff back because I wanted to make them think that, like, you know, I'm invested in my new life and I don't want to like make them think that I'm like trying to get any information. But it looks like all of the stuff that they've captured, not just our stuff, but the guards, the people in town, any kind of weapons or armor and stuff, they're keeping in boats out in the harbor and not like close either. Like far out with a lot of stuff in between, and others are those big, big ships. So they're really looking like it, it's uh, almost like it's a way to like uh, even if even if we rose up, if the people of the town rose up against the oppressors, they wouldn't have anything to rise up with. All of their stuff is is, is taken away from them. So it's a way to like further break people's spirits, almost, or really ensure the fact that these people are going to be protected. You know. So, so what Tom's saying is right. They're basically mm. keeping all the uh, weapons and uh, armor, anything being created supplies all out inside this massive fleet, which is probably about 77, 78 ships 
uh, that survived the attack out of like the hundred and something ships. And basically the whole fleet's out there. The middle is the juggernaut where the, uh, the you've deduced that the rook is, is staying right, right. with the rod at his side. And also in that inner circle of ships is ships that are just holding weapons and armors and food and every, extra things. And what you're surmising is that obviously if something comes, if, they, if they're attacked or something, their fleet is, the Queen's fleet is known for being the strongest. They know they're not going to be, be taken out in, in the water. They just sail everything away and they still win the war, in a sense. Right. So uh, that's what you've been, been seeing um, yeah, in uh, uh, your time there. There you go. So, uh, so that's what I've been seeing in my time here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, Finn, have you heard any word of Alabaster? Where they're keeping him? If they've kept him on the ships or if they took him away? I, I haven't. I haven't heard anything. I haven't seen anything about him. I, I actually was just thinking about the same thing. Um, you know, uh, Alabaster? Did you say? Yeah. Alabaster used. Oh, you know. You, oh, okay. We know he's, the ship. We, yeah. Right. Well, right. I was so just wondering if he heard you anything can, about. You can roll for that. No. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, okay, you don't hear anything directly about Alabaster, but you do hear that there's some key personnel they pulled onto the Juggernaut for whatever reason. So you can assume. <coughs> yeah, I, I would I would guess that he's actually on that Juggernaut, too. With, with the work. I've heard that they've, they've, they've found key important people, you know, and that's where they're keeping them. You know, I guess uh, the work wants to kind of keep them close or maybe interrogate them or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, so I would guess that he's there. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what about what about you guys? Have you found anything uh, of interest or anything of note, or have you what, what have you been doing? Well, well go, go ahead. I was just thinking of a plan that if I can get close enough to the taverns that do bring the food out to the ships, where the rook eat sometimes, if I can get to know the people that work there, see if we have any allies there then maybe Hogar can go and forage out when he's working one day, see if he can get any kind of plants that can put them to sleep or poison possibly, something that can maybe paralyze him a little while just so we can... I got what you're saying. I got what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Mm. Well, is that something, is that something, something you can do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Looks like a yes. Mm. All right. <laughs> I've been, uh, <coughs> uh, since I've been working there, I got promoted. <coughs> yeah, it's good, good for you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> life's, lo life's looking up, everybody. <laughs> <Life's good. laughs> I've been promoted. They, That's they, a great they, thing. They've given me a little more leeway and uh, had access to uh, more detailed maps of the mines and stuff, so. Really? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're saying that, like, you have some piece of information because of that? Is that true? Well, well a little <coughs> circumspect. Well, I've been well, trying to look into it. Yeah, we can roll for it to see what you find if you want. Okay. Uh, so give me a roll. Sounds good. Say do. <sighs> yep. Natural yeah. twenty. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Oh. I thought that was going off the table. Natural <laughs> off the table. Natural twenty on the inch. <laughs> <laughs> that literally makes like the fourth, fifth natural twenty. That is that, that's my second one today. That is your. Sh that that is like crazy. Oh, okay. and, right. and both job related. No, no combat. <laughs> yeah. you you tell you, right. jobs the dragons. We should do jobs. This is like you we know. should never get into combat right. again. We should just only <laughs> just go to work. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm killing job. this job. So I'm going to give you an inkling about what was going to happen, but now I'm basically just going to tell you directly what it is. And so what you've noticed is before uh, before the occupation, you know, you were supervising. Now uh, you are being handed. Uh, maps of the entire uh, subsystem, all that, all those, those mines, and you have a higher position, so you have the access. And what you've deduced from being a dwarf and your 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 gut instincts and your your uh, you know having a good feel with depth and you know your experience of being in the mines, you see that there are spots in the map where the mines go out and they kind of end because they didn't explore them. You put two two together, and usually you get five, but this day you're getting four, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you deduce <Jeez>. that <laughs> you deduce you're that not smart. these <laughs> these mines um, go out, and you're you're almost positive that besides that collector's dungeon, which you know is a thing that's down there, and maybe that leads somewhere else, you have no idea. Mm. There is another way out, and you're pretty sure that it must be one of these um, tributary cavern, you know, spinoffs. 
then they come off in the end, and you're pretty sure that one of them goes out, and you're, you would deduce that they probably go right to the desert in the east. Oh, wow. Your, this is your best guess, remember. If you don't know, it's your best guess. Okay. So you, we so can just say you say that. relay that. You relay party, that, and you, know. you can continue the conversation. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. That's great. I mean, wow. Okay. So we think that there's a possibility that if we can, if we can get what we want to get, and we can get to the mines, we can escape to the east. It might be a good, good way out. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it might be treacherous, but it looks... Like, like that. That's a way to go. All right. Well, I mean, yeah. I, that's that's uh, okay. That's mm-hmm. terrific. I mean, better than nothing. It's this is better yeah. than being prison in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the sunken city. Well, that's you don't right. like it here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a friendly place. <laughs> this one. No, they give you a job. <laughs> they give you a job. <laughs> you guys uh, were talking for a while, and you realize it's getting close to dark. All right. Wow. Better get back before curfew. Yeah. Um, yes. I, I don't think we should meet together every day because I don't want to draw like suspicion. Like people might remember that we all came together, that sort of thing. But maybe every other day we can meet here. We can compare notes, see if we find anything. In the interim, we should all try and keep our eyes open, our ears open for an opportunity to get to that ship or if we can figure out who this shadow guy is. Remember, like he's supposed to be like a master of disguise or something like that, so we may not know. But anything that seems weird, we should, we should try and keep note of Okay. Okay. So you all, you guys, uh, uh, go. You agree to meet back in two days. We're gonna get ready to cut this off right here. Boof, boof. Before we go, we are going to. I want a quick thing about what you're doing in two days. What you're trying to accomplish. It's gotta be ten seconds left. Ready? Go. Okay. In addition to working on my other weapons, I want to see. Can I build some small weapons, like daggers or knives? Oh, uh, I don't. I don't really think you're a, like a weapons knives guy. Um, you could roll for another guy that is uh, on your team, one of like the the master craftsmen. He could be something that, like a metal worker that works with blades and such. You could roll for that. All right. Let me get like a fourteen. Or... Natural twenty. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> he rolled just so you know. He no rolled way. a natural twenty. What? My God. I should have did. Oh my God. <laughs> are you? Are you kidding me? We just needed to be imprisoned. That's all it is. So yeah. crazy. <laughs> a little motivation. Never complain about your rolls. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rolling pretty good now. Next week a goblin's gonna come. We're gonna roll six yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like the world of fantasy. It's like no, <laughs> you <laughs> leave. Just you go yeah. back. You couldn't do this. Just go back to work. <laughs> when you are hunting, we wouldn't be in this whole scenario right, right now. We'd be halfway if, across if, the if desert. Death, stop bringing that up. No. If Destiny no. was the guy, it would stop. be no. telling you that you should back get jobs. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay away from that cruel world. Just stay in the Sucker City. Be safe. Yeah. So, okay, yes, yeah. you have you have a master craftsman that is with you that is a metal worker. And long story short, he says, yes, I can make you blades and swords, whatever you want to make. He can make... What? A few? Six? Three? What Let's do you want? Six. Six. Oh, six? Six is a good small number? One. <laughs> six is good? Six, good size. six, six is good. Right. Six, six we'll keep them small so they can be easily concealed under a cloak. Yes. Okay, I can do that. Okay. What do you want to do? Ten seconds. Ten. I will forage for poison plants. Okay. And barring that doesn't work, I will speak with animals to see if they can help me. See if they can gather some small poisonous plants for me. Interesting. <laughs> okay, roll 20 side die real fast. What am I rolling for? Uh, speak animals. Actually, your whole entire thing. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> that plan. That plan. Uh, 12. 12. Okay, you talk to a couple of squirrels and a couple of raccoons. <laughs> you find out they're nuts. Does, <laughs> you know, this, what's up, squirrel? How's it going? <laughs> Daddy Mafia, How okay? Nuts. <laughs> what's up, raccoon? What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> See you later, man. <laughs> you, t- you talk to the squirrels and you get the sense... That what did you want to know from the squirrels? <laughs> no. well, where, the, where the plants are? Where, First nuts of all, are. Yeah, I where to, the wild things are? I wanted to forage myself. To okay, see if and I then ask them. Plants. And then if I, if I if I was unsuccessful, I wanted to speak with animals to see if they could kind of okay. Find so some plants I'm going to say you you find a couple of uh, curative herbs throughout that you're able to slip into your pocket. You find a couple of poisonous mm. things uh, that is even a small quantity could could do a good amount of stuff. All right, and. You get a tip from a from a, a devious <laughs> squirrel that really? there's some there's some crazy things on the other side of the forest that are more hallucinogenic. Ooh. Really? All right. 
<laughs> hallucinogenic? <laughs> hallucinogenic. These squirrels yeah. are into the, like the frog. <laughs> you don't see the hallucinogenic ones. You see the hallucinogenic ones. <laughs> Thank you. You didn't hear it for me. <laughs> 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 There's some really good mushrooms over yonder. <laughs> what an informative squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you need to buy gentleman. handguns, I also got handguns. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put under a cloak. This small. <laughs> this black market out here in these woods is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> well, they are squirrels from the sunken city, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. What are you doing? Ten seconds or less. Uh, I would like to explore the mines that are actually uh, westward heading towards the, the water. Westward? See, yeah, I want, I want to see it, like, if any of the, the pathways uh, that, that go towards, like, where the water is are open or blocked or what's sort of the current situation. I like to, since okay. now, especially since I found a little bit out about what's going on in the east, I want to find out. Okay, you don't have to roll for that okay. uh, because you have the access. You know that you can get to the north part of the map and you can get to the, sorry, the northwest part and the mm -hmm. southwest part of Sunken City uh, with ease. Okay. No problems. And you kind of confirm that. It hasn't been blocked. It's are been there, open. and there, is it like, are there like access points to, to get out? It basically just comes, comes out it near comes the shore up. just out. naturally. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, there also is, is another way that you don't have direct access to now, but the, the dragon had a way to come out, which is large, mm. but it takes you out, outside the city. And um, But you're not sure if that's open. You don't have direct access. You have to really go off the path to get right. to that. Okay. So I spend my time going down to the taverns around the docks and feeling out... Oh, um, for people who's feeding yes, what and everything yes. else? Okay, roll 20 to die. Information. You can add your intelligence check. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, you find out exactly, pretty easily, who is feeding what, because it's not really <clears throat> guarded information. Uh, you find out there's something very interesting, though, that both uh, taverns that are on the water are not only feeding the workers there, they are supplying food to the ships. Okay? Just okay. very good information. Mm. There's actually two things I would like to do. The first day, I would like to go visit... Uh, Arky. Okay. And then what's the second thing, real quick? And then the second thing is I would like to continue searching for other people of the guild. Okay, roll 20 started to die. You're searching. A 19. Hey. Oh, wow. Okay. Man. A 19. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> what was this? So let's do, I'll tell you what, we'll go back to that one second. You can talk to Arky first, and you see Arky, and then we'll do your other thing. Okay, you walk into the... The shop. Thistle. This is after the first day. What brings you here? Uh, well, I was kind of hoping that you can help me out and uh, maybe repay me for this whole incident that we're in. Uh, I don't see how it's my fault, but sure, I can help you. <laughs> well, if I wasn't <laughs> laid up in the woods, we would never have attracted those guards, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you need? Wow, he's still sore. Literally. Literally, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guilt. It's called guilt. I, I named it. I show, I, show, <laughs> I show him the scar. You know. Like, um, we met guilt. <laughs> my, <laughs> my hole in my side. First name, your. I, I bring him in like close. So I want to like whisper to him. I need a new set of picks. Picks. Lock picks. Well, that shouldn't be hard. Well, I can get working on them for you. Get me those. We call it even. Very well. I'll see you in a couple days. Yes. Mm. You'll have your picks. And I just walk out. <laughs> oh, you walk out of the Nomish Workshop. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'm so glad. Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Taking my time. Your queue times are a little slow there. <laughs> I was right on time. <laughs> oh. Back oh. But yes, I okay, I and you, uh, continue to look for... You walk, you walk down to find, uh, walk down to the docks, sorry, the docks, the warehouses to find someone that you knew from the, uh, the, the Thieves Guild. Guild. And uh, what's his name? Oh. Bludgy? No, you don't find Bludgy. No. I mean, you, fi Langer. you find one. What's his name? Carl Langer. You find Carl Langer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought you actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah, I thought you were quizzing us on like. Yeah, ooh, no, yeah, 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 I know. No, I was that. <laughs> okay, so you find Carl Langer, who's one of your uh, buddies. Let's see how close you were to him. Carl, uh, pretty close. <laughs> hey, Thistle, how you doing? Not, not, not bad, Carl. <laughs> I'm glad to see that somebody <laughs> lived picks you up. I can't believe you lived. <laughs> <laughs> so many people died. I came close. But now there's you and me, Carl Langer. <laughs> <laughs> we both <laughs> survived. 
Thank God. <laughs> Do you know who also survived? <laughs> no. My family. Oh, the lingers. Our family lingers on for one more day. Uh, that's great, Carl. <laughs> and now we're lingering around the town. It's me, Carl, my wife, Carla, my boy, Carlo, <laughs> and my girl, Carlita. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's Hispanic. <laughs> Have you seen anybody else? <laughs> I'm trying to move on from him talking about his wife and his kids. I would like to. It's me and you. And the lingers. Yeah, well. You, him, and the lingers. I got, I got a little wrapped up in the picking up and shaking part. <laughs> <laughs> Come yeah. back. Come back. Uh, he was so happy to finally see somebody. It's me and you. It's me and you. Anybody else? Who else? Oh, yeah, all my friends too. Right? <laughs> but a guy like that, it might be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So, so nobody else? Just me and you? <laughs> no, just us and my family. Uh, how are you? Uh, alive. I barely. Just made it back to town. Right. By, what by the hell are you doing? I'm mining. No, that's, that's not fun. No. Not in the least. They had me fishing. Well, I guess you can eat. That's, that's always a bonus. But, uh... What are we going to do? Eat them right out the, right out the water? <laughs> you don't like raw fish? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I keep rooting Lord of the Rings consistently. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to see this movie. Gala meets fish. I don't want to know. Gala meets fish. Sushi. <laughs> so um, I'm glad you're alive. I'm alive. And uh, that's great, buddy. Maybe we get together, have a drink, and uh, enjoy the occupation. Yes. I, I, I guess. Uh, I was more looking at a way to get the hell out of here, but. I don't know if that's going to be feasible or not. No, I have no idea. <laughs> oh. But I'm safe for now. Carl, good seeing you. <laughs> if you Carl, <laughs> linger out. Good seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him where I'm staying just in case Ned? he finds anybody else. Ned <laughs> Ryerson? <laughs> 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 okay. okay. Oh, Damn. my Lord. <laughs> um, all right. I want to spend the next couple of days investigating if anything happened with the vault during the occupation or the battle. I don't want to go into the vault. I want to, like, I just want to find out. I want to try and find out, like, did they try and get into the vault? Were they successful? If so, what did they find? If not, what's going on there? Hmm. And you're finding, trying to find out in the government office? Yeah, I'm, so I'm li uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just... On your uh, eight-hour shift? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One of the 15-minute breaks. Like, uh, roll 20 instead of die. I'm going to roll also, because I'm going to see what they can I tell you. I do not do a very good job. Three. Um, funny enough, they either are skirting the issue, or they are just not um, <coughs> knowledgeable about that. Okay. So you're not really finding any, anything out. Okay. I'm, I'll leave it alone. Okay. Okay, guys. So next time we play, we will pick it up from here. And when you meet back after two days, and we will see what happens. So far, you've getting better. You're a little bit out of the the rut. You're in a much better place than you were last time. You have full hit points, so that's amazing. <laughs> a couple criticals will do that. Immediately better. Yeah, you, you got you guys critical jobbed it today, uh, like three or four times. Yes. That was amazing. So uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time on Audio Dungeon.